Great game, two good teams. We had to battle for 40 minutes. We were very pleased with the win. Coach, you talked about the fast start and how it got the crowd involved. Yeah, we, we started fast both halves. Got a big lead. Um, then uh, they, they cut it back at halftime, obviously. And then we had another good lead uh, at the beginning of the second half. So the first five, six minutes of both halves were tremendous for us. Absolutely, yeah. You know, just there's a lot of players that can really play, and I don't know what level and all that. That's not my job. My job is to try to get some good college players, and we we had a bunch, and they've got a bunch. So, uh, just a tremendous, uh, very talented ten at any point in the game. Eighteen offensive rebounds, a lot of loose balls, you know, dives. Yeah, Mo, Dex, and Trey did a great job on the glass, and the tr the offensive rebound that Trey got at the end inside the last minute sealed the game. Played good defense. You know, we really competed hard, uh, got after it, uh, just played Wichita State basketball. Those numbers, other than the three point shooting, were very typical. Their three point, their field goal percentage and and whatnot. So that's kind of what we try to do. What did you guys do differently on that three point shot? Because I think they. One or something in the first half. You guys are really Tried to make the guys shoot the basketball that weren't great shooters. They did the same to us here last year. We had some guys that couldn't make a shot, and they played off them, and that's what we did. We, we made some guys that aren't great shooters try to make a lot of threes tonight. We tried to guard the ones that really could shoot it. You alluded to this earlier, you alluded to this, earlier this week that this game was, could possibly you know, determine who is the front runner for the rest of the <coughs> year in the league. Well, all it does is us, make us 2-0 and and then 1-1. and one. There's a lot of basketball to be played. 16 more games and we still have to go to Memphis and we have to go to Houston and we have to go to Cincinnati and we, we've got a lot, of, you know, a lot of basketball to be played, but it's better to be 2-0 than 1-1. It seemed like Dex played a little bit more confident somewhere later in the yeah, first half. Yeah, great to have him back. Made some plays, made a shot, got a couple of rebounds, played some tremendous defense and, you know, I, I, first dunk I've ever seen him miss. I mean, the dude put his head in the rim but, but kind of clanked it off the, the front rim. That would have been fun. Doesn't get much time. better. I talked to two referees late in the game, and I said, "What do you think?" And both are big time refs. I mean, I've had had them in big time games deep in the NCAA tournament, and both of them said, "Unbelievable, top ten uh, in my in, in the, when they 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 ref anywhere in the country." So, to hear both of those guys say that kind of solidifies what we've been saying all along. Does this put the program kind of back in that national? Nah, spotlight? I don't know. That's up to you guys. I just I mean I'm in a little Wichita here. I'm just doing my thing, you know. How do you keep your team? You guys jump out such a big run. They, they make a little run, and you guys close out the half pretty well. How do you just keep that momentum going after such a hot start? Because we've got some kids with character. They really play hard. They, they work they work at it. They work at their skill. They work at teamwork. They work at the uh, – Lou Godino did an unbelievable job with the scout. They adhered to that scouting report for the most part. We made a little tweak with the ball screens in the second half, which I think helped us. And um, um, you know, just credit to the players, credit to those guys that went out there and scrapped and fought and uh, against bigger and sometimes more athletic guys. How important when you go up against an offense like that is it to take away those quick headers and, and make them work through stuff? Yeah, you got to just try to force tough, contested two-point shots and not get killed on the glass. And it's hard to do. It's easier said than done. I tell you what, because that's. They've got some dudes that, that crashed that glass, and we weren't very – they scored, I think, five of their first seven baskets off second-chance opportunities in the first half, which obviously I wasn't pleased with. And, you know, we had to just make some adjustments, be a little tougher. Greg, your depth really showed tonight, I think, yeah. where you can put anybody in and they, they yeah. played well tonight. Yeah, you know, we don't have – we, we, don't, we don't have the – you know, as many top 100 players right. or McDonald's All-Americans and lottery picks as they do. But we do have 13 very talented players. And I, I feel confident going all the way down through our scholarship players, 1 through 13, they can all help us win. And they helped us win. Our scout team was incredible the last couple of days. And with Jamarius, just his, you just talk about his development and big time. Yeah, made some this. unbelievable plays and spin moves and sticking people in the basket. And again, he's not, not playing above the rim, but uh, he's, he's pretty tough going downhill. He was a little out of sorts uh, in the first half. I thought he made some bad choices, but um, he got much better in the second half. Can you quantify his impact on this team? Quantify, that's a big word. I'm in athletics. What do you mean? Just what, what does he mean impact, impact wise, night, night to night? Are you a scientist? <laughs> quantify. Good Lord. Would that be a no, then? 
I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> They're very talented. They're very. They do a lot of good stuff, man. They, they coach them hard. They play really hard. They're huge. They're. I mean, we took three shots in the first half that they didn't block. They just caught. You know, so can't do that. Does it just feel good to be a you know big time game, big time win to to, to have that back at Coke Arena. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, man. Been doing it a long time. These, these, they're all nice. This is number fourteen. So um, fourteen to one. Beat a very good team in here tonight. Unbelievable atmosphere. I mean, what else do you want? What else do you want? It's two tough road games coming up. Absolutely. You know, we'll have to play better. Yeah. We'll have to play better than, than we did tonight to win two games on the road against UConn and Temple. So it doesn't get any easier. It doesn't get any easier.